Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast from the host and Pearl Dane, the one and only master propaganda hero, like defender of the fatherland. Off here to 2v2 own, you guessed it, it is Pekino Farmlands in the northwest, it is Hulk Smash and Ruby fighting for combined Wehrmacht deck Kampfgruppe here from up from elements of the 26th Panzer Division with a Kettenkrat and potentially, yes, bike start here in the southeast. It is Havoc and it is Zulu fighting here for freedom, democracy. Liberty, the American way, and the British Empire at the same time, because those two things fit perfectly together. And good news, Ken Craddy Fox Smash. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued generous and absolutely delightful support, and a big hearty thank you for commenting and liking my videos. Havoc here setting forth with the third armor division as Zulu and the 53rd Infant Division provide, well, infantry support. Ken Crad rushing in here. Good news, following up here for Hulk Smash, the smashiest of the Hulks. Sap is about here. Oh, looks like there's a bit of mess up there with the capping order. Occasionally happens even you queue that with waypoints sometimes. They just move onwards. And I think that's what's happening here for Zulu, unfortunately. And I don't think Zulu's realized. It could also, of course, be this act intentional for Zulu. He just switched plans here. Hard to save with, of course, someone of Zulu's caliber, which I'm definitely not on. Scouts push in from the south. They catch the can crowd here. Civilian, of course, withdrawing as soon as they start hearing gunshots, like any normal person would do if they don't have guns and been trained to use them. MD42 there for Hulk Smash. Yeah, straight for the fuel points. I'm guessing this was more intentional by Zulu, and it's leaving other units to capture these two points. Ken Crown sending spot here as Havoc's rifle move into the streets here. Bike going after the sapper support here by Panzer Grandiers. Third rifle squad there for Havoc. A lot of infantry out here for a freedom loving friend. Panzer Pini busy in there. Go more shots fired. Infantry section to fire. There we go. And we got a 250 half track out here for Ruby, the Leichtschützen Panzerwagen, typically handed out to a Panzerwagen's Aufklärungsabteilung or Schwadron. But basically, they were sort of meant to, like, you know, act. The Panzerwagen's riding these were meant to sort of act as support for the armored cars. But a lot of the time, what actually happened is they just serve as another armored Panzergrandi element. There'd typically be two of these half tracks per squad, with each half of the squad riding their own separate half track. Fun fact. MD42 set up here to cover the bike on the round the center. Further south, we got Hulk Smash moving forwards. Second Grenadier squad on the way there. Bit of skirmishing there. We got the light support company up. Half tech setting towards the center. Panzer Pune inside. Light looking at flame for here for Ruby. And we got the Panzer Grenadier front. Looks like they're going to focus on Havoc in the center and sort of leave Ruby up north. Or Zulu, I mean, to so, you know, do his own thing until he catches on there. Very fun here for the main streets of Bikina. One Ralph squad that is quickly suppressed. Panzer goes moving support here by the half check and the Panzer Punia. Mortally for Havoc. Opposite response to the Indy 42. Trying to rush to the building. There you go. Flame throws. Which meaning he's actually going to make definitely himself very uncomfortable moving into that building. Section moving up. we got Flame throws still there. Panzer goes moving forward for the streets here. Machine gun could try and move up to occupy here. House. Firing in there. Section there forcing the half check out. We see Ruby on Maggie just constantly worrying about the potential of anti tank grenades here. And we do get Havoc there with his grenade package on the way. Further south, German force making steady headways. As the center, it becomes the main arena here of contest and competition and violence. Mostly violence. Have you got the Luftwaffe company for Hulk Smash? Some likes their Panzer Grenadiers. Hulk Smash likes his Jaegers of the 1 and 14th Jaeger Division. Found fact, there are only two Jaeger divisions in uh, Italy, but there are actually like three Fajimaker divisions in Italy. And three big Jaeger divisions. I do find it a bit funny that for some reason make the Jaegers sort of shows their mainline infantry. <laughs> and his rifle points their ground points. Section in 40, we've got anti tank rifles clearly concerned about light vehicles, mortifying down the machine gun. Further up north here, half check, they're going for the sappers. Ruby swinging northwards as Sulu moved towards the center. Bit of a bait and switch there. Right in the south as the Grandiers. A bit more maneuvering here. Grandiers was the Rav squad. Machine gun moving in. But yeah, exposed flank here. And Zulu ceases, of course. Jaegers on the way to Falk Smash. And we got the info to the catching Zulu section. Narrowly, briefly averting the. Or narrowly avoiding disaster there. And something big exploded there. Jaegers almost done here, though, for Hulk Smash. We'll have to see if withdraw some of the Grandiers for more Jaegers fast. Probably won't. North here, Panzer Gunners bring about there. We got the mechanized company out there, Ruby. That's probably to Ruby's perspective. And to Zulu. 
got two Vickers, two Sappers, and only one Sack. He's also going for Indian Artillery. He's got the Humber on the way. And we've got a mechanized assault group sort of here out of Ruby. Not sure if that's a call in or just pop them inside the half track here. Timing wise, I'm definitely thinking you just pop the assault grenades inside after fixing it up. Arctar on for Ruby. Humber's almost done here for Zulu. <coughs> Map control wise, it's sort of 50 50 a she. For now, and there we go. Humber Armored Car pushing forward. See for Zulu. Crashing through the terrain, through the fences, across the tombstones. And a few grave plots overall. Reginald, isn't that disrespectful? Don't worry, Nigel. They're just Italians. That's exactly what I mean, Reginald. Hunter Pinaming Ford, see enter section nearby. Arkhan out here, that's never going to give the Allies a slight headache here. I mean, only Zulu really has anything to significantly dent at it without the Arkhan getting too close and getting within snare range. Havoc so far does not have exactly have any anti tank weapons of his own. I mean, he's going to have to just rely on the armored car getting way too bloody close for its own good. Yeah, you can see it in heavy fun getting more to it though. Up north, Arkhan moving in, going to support the bike against the Sappers. Not a bad idea. I mean, you could argue it's good for to center, but at the same time, going for more isolated unit, but Zulu is going to have less support for it. Increase the chance that Ruby actually scoring a wipe. So that actually is a very sneaky way. That also increases the chance of getting caught up by something else. So definitely, I think the devious yet effective play there by Ruby. And there's a good chance here that the Zulu sappers yeah, expire. Good wipe there. That is all two picked up that goes down. Humber there, of course, exacting some vengeance for the fallen British infantrymen. Six pound gun at the Zulu. While he has grown for the artillery, we're not yet seeing much out of it. No, for some Gurkhas. I'm guessing he's going to go for that because he's got some little infantry. No trucks either. And there you go. Panzer is out here for Ruby and set up of the second act right there. Right from there, being evicted from the premises due to the good old fashioned. German eviction process, which is of course using a flamethrower. Which is why you never mess with German landlords. Anyways, we've been charging through the walls here, going straight for the Humber there. And we got the armored support for Ruby with superior fire drills, of course, excellent synergy with the Arc Guard. In fact, it used to be so good they had to nerf it. But even with the nerf, it's still really good here. But there you go. We see here the Ruby. Getting too confident. Overconfidence blinding his risk assessment sense, causing him to just have the armor kind way too deep and causing him to lose it. So that definitely helps Sula and Havoc at least somewhat mitigate some of the losses they previously had. Another six pounding gun for Sulu, but still not much out of his battle group. He still remains a bit hesitant there. People in flat pants, of course, they sort of nice and ready. Panzer Jäger is under fire, being pushed back up north. We got the, the other Achter up with some bikes here. Roaming in the northern fields like a predator. And there you go. Gurkha selected. Warcry there. This could of course explain why he's a bit hesitant, as it does cost a bit more than the seal, but at the same time, Warcry in the right time is really powerful, but at the same time, not a lot of British players make use of it because the other one is just, you know, free munitions and means you can get to the Gurkhas faster. But Zulu, obviously, a patient hunter. A sad predator. And there you go. Ruby again letting his overconfidence get the better of him. Like stabbing him with the other Arkha. And there's two heavy armored cars now knocked out. This is definitely where the Allies might start to really catch up and overtake the Germans here. So Ruby needs to slightly pour some ice cold water into his veins here. And slightly simmer down. Panzer me, Commander of the Ruby. There is no slowing down with Ruby. There's only Blitzkrieg. And we're back at the Axis base. We also got the Panzergonia company up here. So guessing Pack 40s. Maybe Panzergonia is there out of uh, Hulk Smash. Could be Stu but I'm not counting on them. Could be Needle Weapons. That's actually a much more likely choice. Got the first worker section on the Elite Nepalese Infantry continues to service in the British Army to this day. And the Vibrant goes down. 
Hawk Smash here. Definitely went into heart with the Vivalent, underestimated the Allied anti tank presence, which you definitely need to take very seriously. In fact, at this point, there's a total of three anti tank guns minimum here between the two Allied players. So that was definitely a rather expensive miscalculation there by Hawk Smash. He's going for the Needle Alpha, still hasn't picked up Elgrub. I know to Havoc, of course, has gone for advanced infantry, which has definitely gained a lot of traction, in part because of a strategy he more or less has been highlighting actively. He makes use of the ammunition storage alongside the howitzer for some really explosive shenanigans. He's got Mortify there, forcing the Germans out of the premises further south here. Allied forces ultimate steady progress. We see here Hawk Smash Jaegers withdrawing. Need to use it to force the Allies to vacate the premises. Greyhound here out of havoc. Honestly, the way things are going, probably would actually expect him to like maybe you know pick up. But not a bad idea. <clears throat> So what will be next for Hulk Smash? Will it be Tech? Will it be another Vivian? There we go. Bite this part of the Greyhound and it's 37mm gun. So we got the Panzer Jaeger as well here on the move. Clearly wants to put the Greyhound to the scrapyard. And in the center here we got Panzer Puny pushing forward to see. And there you go, Crips Pan Pursuit using the veterans' one ability of the Humber to put them out down the Panzer Puny and force them withdraw. Vivian Flak Panzer there, halfway done. And we got the Panzers in hot pursuit trying to take out that Greyhound. Bit risky here, but depending on the situation, she had a good chance. Seeing particularly if Havoc isn't paying attention. Got a few hits in. Graham keeps missing. This is extremely good luck there for Ruby. Decides not to pursue. Good there luck there, meanwhile, then for Havoc. And the center allied British for oh, American British forces moving forward. Up north, right moving forward to Jaegers, we should try and keep that flank clear. Drucker's tearing up further elements here of Hulk's Manage front line. He has gone for Luftwaffe. Lana going to go for the infantry reserves, so though. It is worth noting, at least, currently he doesn't have a lot of infantry. Of course, he might be waiting for the ability to go for more infantry, but. Just worth noting there. Panda 3 out for Ruby. Thumbs up. We got advanced logistics for Havoc. Vibrant going at it with its four. Turn them into the auto cannons there. Good shot there from the six pounder gun. <clears throat> Pushing it off. Panzig is diving in here. Risky maneuvers there for Ruby. And there goes six pounder guns at the ready. Sees the 250 half tank absolutely lit up. And getting shot here through the hedges, forcing Ruby's panzer to withdraw. German falls under Hulk Smash moving forwards. No sign of tech there in the base. We do have a medic bunker here. Thumbs up. By its healing to him and his teammate. Good teamwork there. Another Nebra Buffy out of Hulk Smash. Honestly, it makes it a bit weird. He kind of went for the battle group choices then, then he like the way he's sort of lining up for like a fast. Advanced, you know, the cheaper reinforcements ability there. If he's going to like, you know, just rely heavily on artillery while not having a lot of infantry. And obviously, it does mean what I'm infantry has will be cheap to reinforce, but I'd say it's more about, you know, how much can you really leverage this with like just three squads of infantry, two of which are grenadiers, and then one Jaeger squad. Again, he might have more fight to make his plan down the road, but these sort of at first glance. It does feel like he's not going to be exactly leveraging this to its full effect. And we got houses here for Havoc, the M2A1 howitzer. There we go, Matilda here out for Zulu, bringing in the heavy armor to bash through the German lines. One interesting in there lying abandoned in the middle of the road. Smelling of burnt pork. Uh, weapon supports in there for Havoc, we got the Free fire drills there as well to, of course, further leverage his howitzer's firepower. So if anything gets too close, they'll get shot at directly. And fun fact, most artillery pieces could fire directly at targets. They even have occasionally a few armor piercing rounds just in case. Something the Germans tried to leverage during the invasion of Russia when a lot of their initial light entertainments couldn't penetrate. 
Soviet armor, and particularly the heavier stuff, they actually utilize either the Flak 36 or the lighter Fed Hope it's actually where they actually like, you know, have one of each sort of as part of the lead column to shoot at like heavier Soviet armor the other anti-tanks couldn't penetrate. So there's a bit of a fun fact. Uh, the South Ukraine is being rather Matilda too. Jaeger's force off as well. There's not enough infantry, I think, here for Hulk Smash really make much gain simply without significant armor support either. Nebev is there laying down a thick carpet of incendiary doom and despair here against the Allied possessions. Attila the roaming forwards here, Zulu an absolute titan there. Over to Ruby going for another Panther 3, over to Zulu, who's definitely not going for a Panther 3, he's even gone here for Pillage, wow. Definitely a rare selection of abilities there. I mean, Warcry is already rare, but in particular Pillage, because most players tend to prefer you to the other one, that is the equivalent to this one, so... Very interesting choice here for Zulu. And it's not like this ability is like, you know, bad either. I mean, passive five munitions for infantry, one kill and ten fuel, but for the arm of kill, the kill is like really good to be honest, but compared to cheap reinforcement, it's just not nearly as good. But it's so good, so it's like, you know, most players just prefer the other one, because that advantage is just insane. In the membrane. Insane in the brain. Anyways, Panzer's been taking heavy damage. Gorka's pushing forward. We've got foot guards as well here for Zulu. Yeah, hats off to Zulu for going his way there. Of course, there's also synergizes with this because Warcry will then, of course, cost munitions, but we generate extra munitions for pillage because we'll like to just get the infantry killed. And there's some fun stuff there. Some fun stuff. As for Ruby, we got those two Panther Fusion gaining the Matilda 2. Definitely will need the Tungsten rounds here. Panzer Pioneer in there gaining Metri 2. Assault Gun is about to expire here. Yeah. We do see a smoke attempt here, I think. Yeah, to cover the withdrawal here. Thumbs up to Ruby. Nice try there, but problem is the foot guards can still cover the retreat path. So nice, but in the end, futile. And now Ruby is getting rather short in the infantry here. Got 364 to 384. The Panzer 3 here for Rupi, another Panzer Kampfwagen 3 Ausführung L. American Mortars up in the middle here, we got the bike far on the flanks here. Kind of good work there by Rupi, keeping it alive for Zong. Havoc Beam Mortal yet to take up. Santa, of course, just waiting for the target to blast. People in there being repaired. Neva Fire Cross Ascender here. And there you go, Panther is trying to go for deeper flank. I definitely like that, though, of course, in this case, lacking more support. Does get rebuffed here by the anti tangents but doesn't lose a tank, so that kind of works out here for Ruby. Another Panther on the way. But yeah, definitely like what Ruby did instead of like just charging head on. He actually tried to flank around Solo's position, so two thumbs up. Even if it didn't work out, he tried, he made the effort. And there you go, still got the six pounder guns bring about, they're easily able to maneuver about despite hauling what is effectively a one ton you know, piece of equipment there. Further south, he's been catching the Greyhound and knocking it out there, a bit of a blow there to Enemy Havoc, wreaking Havoc point. on his plans. And we've got an assault running squad out here for Ruby, calling in more troops here to maintain the offensive against the Allied Shrine. 337 versus 384, and Saints up catching the Panther 3 here, or are they caught with the Panzer threes? It's up to you, dear viewer. And we got Grant being locked there for Zulu. No big surprise. Amazing medium tank in game. To get the armor vehicle training forward, it can absolutely wreak havoc in numbers. Got Nibir for busy here. Brief looked like he had set up an emplacement there on the mini mouse. It's like with that. No sound check there. Try and take out the how to with the needle efforts. I mean, not a bad idea if the needle F rockets, of course, hit. And you will need, I think, multiple barriers to really make it work. Got another attempt here. I really like here what Ruby is doing. Like, really, I like it. It's just so tight. Like, it's so exhausting at times. You just keep people are just constantly never, like, try to flank him. Doing this good map last week. But Ruby here is actually, like, actively flanking. Trying to outmaneuver the allies. Trying to, like, hit them where they don't have as many defenses, so two thumbs up through, yeah. 
Absolutely silver star. And there you go, more Nilo fun on the how to here from Hulk Smashers and Nebo Valphus. Actually got some Fulch Omega, so we are seeing some elite infantry out here. Thumbs up to that as well. And we got the ground on the Fazula to Havoc. Matilda moving about here, and there you go, really deep flanking with the Panthers, he's getting past the Azula's front line, forcing him to turn around the Antitangents, the only way this could be better if actually, oh, I'm using the ability to boost up the speed, I think, very nice, I think it's the, um, yeah, Panzer Storm, really good flanking, two thumbs up, really good flank, absolutely beautiful stuff there, one for the books, absolutely perfect here, like, did take some damage, but also crucially really caught Zulu unprepared, I was able to like negate a lot of damage, otherwise that would have been suffered here. Crucial, I think, didn't like get any like permanent hits up because they can just recruit the anti tank guns, but at this point it's all just as much as demonstrating to the allies they have to worry about these flanks as well there. And that could definitely force some uh, changes. Oh mine goes off! Nice work. Nemo. Hulk smashes exploring the chaos course deep with the flank to push forward, securing the center of the Kino from the Allies, two thumbs up, but there you go, return fire, they close off the pack, forward to the Howty, going with that direct fire shot there, the free fire drills. Pack forward to replace the one lost here. Attack, Marners, no Sturmgeschütze, we when they're still alive. That's one fox to make a sword here. We got airdrops here for Havoc. Got Rangers out for him, deciding it's time to get tough. More new left there in the howitzer. Igneous being caught there, repairing it. Almost got the howitzer. As you can notice, it can take a lot of incendiary damage. They obviously cover the entire thing in asbestos. Is this like safe? Oh, don't you worry, Bob, don't you worry. Asbestos is as safe as can be. Just like nuclear power. And capitalism. So, soldiers charging after the Ralph's call there. Hands of three sitting out there. Stug halfway done there for Hulk Smash. Fox is the advancing Ralph's score. Mortar fire ring down. Is now in enemy hands. And there you go, how is almost gone. The asbestos coating is finally giving away to and that many repeated need left for barrages. Also, nuclear power doesn't make sense, it wasn't invented. Stupid game. Also, it's probably not safe in the asbestos as long as we're Again, silly down, it's just making up shit here to go. Anyways, Matilda moving in here, Glonius, packs firing all of shots here. Sturmgeschützte Ausfüllen, gaming forwards here. Supporting the German infantry, some more fogs make us think it would be good for smash, and of course, some more Stugs. Good shot on the mort from the mortar in the foot guards. Got a mortar up there for Ruby. And there you go. Havoc's howitzer finally goes down. Finally goes down. Another flank here. Like Ruby's Panzer Thieves. Again, two thumbs up. We got the Lloyd just calling from both sides. It's a really big glitch. Quick push here. Need the Stooks. The Fudgeman's all in here. There we go. Shots coming in from all sides. Tanks are being shredded in the narrow streets of the Kino here. Entrance has been cleared out here. It's turning into a death trap here. Set up by the Axis forces. Matilla there, filing. Well, things are getting very ventilated very quickly. Pantathy knocked out of the Bazooka team. Good use of the Bazooka. There you go, caught here by one of the Loiters. Matilda down here. An absolutely brutal battle here for the center. And the Allies are getting completely crushed. The lack of anti aircraft guns definitely bit them in the arse. But there you go, entertainment with the ammunition supplies there is laying down to maybe find we could see Hulk Smash. Duke, no, it narrowly makes it out of that one alive. Going further south, busy here. 
That's when see Tuba taking a fire there from Allied Bazooka Fire there. Over here to Ruby. And over to Zuru, who has lost so much there during that battle. He lost his Matilda, he's lost his Grant, he lost a good chunk of his forces there. Parchment's going there. And that was effectively Zulu's Totobok Forest there. Ha uh, Monty screaming into the night. Zulu, give me back my legions! Anyways. Another Pantophy on the way there for Rubu. Ruby? Rupu? Sorry about that. And there we go, another grunt ready for Zulu. Things just sing Zulu so much that Ruby is like mine when Rubu. Do we have any repairs? Need lavers working hard there to saturate any area there with incendiary fire. Again, Ruby lining up for another flank here. But by now. The allies are starting to catch on to Ruby's maneuvers. Of course, you can't repeat the same trick for too long, so you do need to switch it up a bit here to make yourself a bit more unpredictable. At this point, it's quite clear that Ruby has, you know, etched his uh, flanks into Zulu's mind to the point that Zulu realizing and having that they do have to, like, keep more eyes across here. Rain's going in hard. We got more foot guards for Zulu. Thumbs up to that. Two hundred sixty-eight to two hundred seventy. Allies bleeding out the Germans here. Rangers caught routed. Got to being leveraged against the German positions. Another Panzerfeu. That's a total of four Panzerfeus here for Ruby. That's a lot of Panzerfeus. But the South mix of British and American forces making swift progress here. Looks to be more fudge makers, or possibly some fudge and pioneer here for Hop Smash. Yeah, fudge makers. I think we lost the other squad, though. I hope not. Might have done that. Actually, it doesn't appear like he's got a lot of infantry. In fact, he's got the grandees and the fudge makers. Yeah, he's not really doing a lot to like maintain a significant infantry force. We have only 250 points remaining. Have something to work on a wee bit. Nega route caught with the Panzer Fleece. I think he was trying to lay down anti tank mines here, actually, which does make a lot of sense. That's definitely one way to try and deal with these kind of like things, is lay down a lot of mines, and yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. Mix of anti tank mines and regular mines here out of the Allies. And this will force Ruby to slow down, particularly since Ruby doesn't have any minesweepers. Meanwhile, in the center west, the Allied forces going close to the German base. We've got Stoops, so we got Biblins here laying down heavy fire there. Halting these, the Rangers, but the Gorkas keep at it until the guns turn on them, at which point they also decide they got other plans. Finally getting murdered by German, German flag fire. There you go, Panzer Fleet hits an anti tank mine. Heavy and Oh, it just looks like regular mine, but still. Engine damage there, Foot Guards moving, got to occupy the house here. That's going to be a strong position to fight against all these Panzer Fleets in. No Foot Guards moving up, they got Tilly called in here. Panzer Fleet there is an absolutely dire state. It's going to take heavy bazooka fire there. And we got the Grant moving in here. More Bazookas is moving in here. Ruby suddenly caught a bad spot there. Very narrow. It's going to be hard to get the tanks all that safely. Almost got one of the Panther Fleets. Down it goes. Could see another Panther Fleet down. Moon the others. Smoke being deployed to try and cut the retreat here. Buying time. Forming a bat. Rear guard there. But need to be careful not to lose more tanks by the rear guard anyways. Dealing busy with the Rangers there. Absolutely dramatic moment in this match so far. And the Panda 3 is lit up a sting blow there. In the center, Stoop fighting out versus Sappers. Machine guns, Gurneys, all doing their part. And our Panzer Gun Squad there goes down. Meanwhile, we got a command tank for Ruby to assist all the remaining Panda 3s. Not a bad idea. Eine Befehls Panzerkampfwagen. And we got Zulu with more grants. As the ammunition supply there is being lit up. Rangers moving forwards. And we got what appears to be another Fox Mix squad here out of Hulk Smash being dropped by the southern point. Veblen goes down. 
command tank there, basically with the bazooka team, so also basically with the Panzer threes. Oh to Hulk smash. Yup, that's another fight to make a sword here, up to two now. Oh to Havoc, who's got a lot of bazooka teams. In fact, he's got a total of three of them. And an anti tank gun. Another intercept here by the low fire for Hulk smash. Bailing out there, Ruby's beleaguered armor, which lacking infant support, really struggles against all these bazookas. Going for the center of a foot gun, a gook has narrowly dodged a straight for their pure Hollywood style. And should give us this action. M3 ground moving in. Enforcing healing. Another wave there for Havoc, got 223, 239. More needle of a fire here. Mines exploding, and there you go. Gok has wiped out. Stinging blow there to Zulu. Allied forces making the way to the center. Their rangers make a run there for the Bren gun. Our forces hold strong. The advantage is ours. They're doing what they can against the infantry ground, following up. And we got teleport in here, forcing here Hot Smash to slightly scatter. There you go. And then more till he called in. And please bring it to this Stug at Bet 22 there. Yeah, uh, the South here bike might finally go down here. Despite excellent efforts by uh, Ruby so far, it does look like his luck has finally run out with this bike and it must go kaboom. A unit has died in service. Bunker there, I'm guessing repair bunker here out of Hulk Smash. And he is being held up here, foot guards rushing forwards. Grant's pushing in. Supported by foot guards, sections of the front stuff. Massive bound, yes, Anthony's been cleared out. Stuke's firing back. Archming is joining in the front, but there you go. Stuke versus two foot guard section. Definitely mistake for Hulk Smash. And his Stuke crew pays the ultimate price and servers up to us far to Lund. Allied forces reclaiming the center. Half tech exploding, anti tanks being wrecked. Fight to make is routed. Further south here, Ruby's armored fist is further encountering his resistance well here with a wall of bazooka fire there, forcing Ruby to disengage and lose his panzers. Neither ever they could get knocked out. Armored reserves seemingly going up here for Ruby. That's Hulk Smash definitely can't go for Tiger Tank because I've gone for Luffy. Going for another Vibble and Flak Panzer. Not entirely sure he wants that. Honestly, at this point, I think taking up would make more sense for Hulk Smash, Panther Falls, maybe Sturm Panzer, maybe some more Stooks, but a Vibble at this point feels a bit borderline questionable. Pair Bunker of Hulk Smash, the system and his teammate. Not a bad investment, of course. Got the Ace Rangers with the Bren gun. 193 is 203 here, victory points are close, but the Allies continue to have a small lead over the Germans. Armored reserve is done, command tank going in. There we go, repair bunker up. We just bring up the BARs and there you go, Fox Mix might be up with the FT42s, more Fox Mix, and we got Needleff as well here. Branch rushing forward, we got a total of three of them. Another house out there for Havoc, thumbs up to that. Rangers finally find themselves pushed back here. Asulu dashes Grants right down the center. Support the other bazooka teams on the flank. But up north here we got Rubies. Panzer platoon here being met though by the foot guards. Ground there getting peppered with pack fire. Rangers there getting repulsed. Fighting is absolutely intense. We've got 185 to 3. Foot guards being forward saying if the command tank and the Panzer League. Panzer League's in trouble here. Bazooka team's doing what they can, but it is not enough. Got the veteran's vulnerability detection in the ground for increased rate of fire. Availability on the right times. 
There we go. Panda three kaput. Stinging blow there to Rubio to him's perspective though. He's close to the tiger tank, a bit short on fuel. Oh to Zulu. Will the Allies ever get any anti-aircraft guns? The farther the answer appears to be. And I do think we're like both you know, access players of access to Lloyd to some kind of anti-aircraft gun would be handy there for the Allies. Like either you know the truck with the post upgrade or the M16 there, but some kind of anti-aircraft gun. I think would help out the Allied calls a bit there against all these loiters. They have been covering the center. Another Allied advance here with a lot of bazookas, but Fashmagus machines gun is ooh, there we go, that telecall in. Forcing a withdrawal from Kino Center again. Ooh, oh, apparently they are friendly fire safe air burst shells how that works command tank that half elf ruby though is almost within uh, distance here we go tiger out half and a full shred up hunter totem quick dispatching the tiger repair bunker down allies really starting to level that pain ruby's forces are in a pretty rough condition Smash is looking not much better either. At least he's got plenty of infantry. He's on the other hand very short on armor. Yes, at least finally gone for the Panzer Company there. But still needs to be built finished. Finished building. There we go. Foot come copy the Tiger. Eight hitmen shells slamming into them, causing strenuous casualties there. Allied forces, of course, slightly panicking at the arrival of the Tiger. Section they're taking over from the advancing Panther in command tank. That's that news. Good to wipe in Zulu. Yeah, this oh, it's a wipe. Huge win there. Foot guards corner bad spot here against the Tiger and the Vibravent and the Fajmegas. Really bunched up, which almost means they could have been wiped there. That was really close there for Zulu. The Mucks actually lose them here. Yeah, got the wipe. Zulu here. Taking massive losses. Foot guard section gone at this stage. It's going to be a tough one. We've got 17 pounding gun pink pattern response here to the Tiger. They could also, I think, go for more grads, but that's just me. Tiger tank with command tank support is definitely a fierce foe, and of course, this could be a reason to go for the 17 pounding gun for sure. The Allies refuse to give up the center of the German army. Further south, though, the German's army will, of course, just grab the southern victory point instead, then. What will Ruby do next? More Panzer Fees, more infantry. And we got Zulu, of course, starting to wreck the ho local buildings to make it harder for the Germans like to use the buildings in an offensive, or for that matter, doing a defense of the center victory point there. Can also arguably create three lines of fire there for Zulu and Havoc's guns. So, by the way, picking they're being wrecked. Church down as well. Storm Panzer here out for Hulk Smash. Another building there gone. Tiger, they've been engaged. We've got those Bazooka team moving forward. We've got the command chain, the Brian support. It could cost them Bazookas there if Havoc isn't careful. Could go down. 17 Panda gun almost done. But so the Bazooka team's here. Foot guards at it though. Another loiter called in. And once more, the Allies lack of air support. Oh, the Storm Panzer 4 is down. The hard it is hard at work, we got 126, 188. Foot guards been grabbed as the Panda feet and the command tank hunt them down. Like a pack of wolves. A pair of wolves. And there go another section loss here for Zola. That was his remaining foot guard section too. Point. 17 pound coming for into possession, got the crack the nearby. And there you go, grunting forwards. Betty too, but learn health there. Go 17 pounding on towards it, but it's not enough. It goes down. Another lot of caught in with the German army. Grant's up here in trouble as well here. Zulu is really struggling now here. 
126 173 the Alice will have the victory point lead but it is very much slipping through the fingers neither have actually seems for the Alice at some point I completely missed that North Epon Mixies Ruby though has an excellent influence left it's just the Panzer Punia and the Assault Grenadiers everything else is just dead and the Pelton truck trying to get away with the 17 pounder gun goes down once more the lack of anti of guns is uh going to be a great aid for the uh, Axis forces. Old Hulk smash. Just gone for another Sturm Panzer. Lost a fuck to me, but has not replaced that note to Havoc. Just got four Bazooka teams and a Nibelwerfer. Some Rangers too, and a Howard's with no armor. More Rangers out of Havoc. There we go, Ace Rangers the Gurneys, there's a good chance. Oh, yeah, gonna go what? Well. Unless Hulk Smash here has the most insane luck here, which apparently does because Havoc wasn't paying attention to guess the Rangers didn't focus them down as well though, properly. That was some really good luck there for ha uh, Hulk Smash going to do squat there. Exceptionally good luck. Now the Potent Sharky out here for Zulu, another need there for Hulk Smash. Using his knee left for that to bombard the access positions. Quick swing of south, we've got 123 to 141 there. Access forces getting ever closer to that treble cap on the Allies. 17 pounder going there, scores a great hit, knocking out the Bill and Flak Panzer and gaining the ace level. Come Panther feed the ult in trouble, that's going to go down as well to the 17 pounder gun here. That's his game, actually free there for Havoc. So the 17 pounder gun only add veterans you want, but that's still pretty good. 123 to four. this match is absolutely incredible so far. Stukasa Fursi out of Ruby. There you go, Bazooka's in reports, so straight into the command tank here, Tiga, and of course the Sturm Panzer. Lightly turn bound here, the Bazooka teams, if they do not withdraw immediately. 122 versus 134. Of the South Rangers, right and entering ring up here. Sturm Panzer moving in. 17 pounder gun back in action for Zulu there. Or, oh, he's got two of them now. He's got two of them now. And I guess he's only got one truck then to like, you know, hold both around with. Oh, very British. Shouldn't we like have a spare truck? No, we don't need that, Reginald. We just use the one truck for both of the 17 pounder guns. Don't worry, it'll work out perfectly. No problems. Hulk smash there, guessing more Sturm Panzers of Panther 4. He could also go for some stars to open. Far up here, Panther 3 was the grant. Ruby there still trying to flank him through here then. Still at this point, of course, quite aware of that. And there you go, Bazooka on the flank here, and catching Ruby there, unprepared, Panther 4 is on the way for Hulk Smash, thumbs up, but that Ace Panther 3 is gone! Good kill there for the Allied Force, we've got 93 to 134 here. Bazooka team in trouble, good chance of wiping Havoc's Bazooka team, well, one of his four Bazooka teams. And they are gone, ladies and gentlemen, in the center, the heavy fighting going on, he has another German offensive, is being uh, held up by a captured Nebelwerfer. And other artillery being deployed there. Zook team still fighting up with the commanding and the Tiga could see a wipe here with a bit of luck. The bad luck, obviously, not so much. More Nibla fire this time from the Axis side on the center. Ruby again going for that northern flank there, thumbs up. Oh, 
Struggles versus their Corp of the Rangers and each with a draw. And there you go, 17 pounder gun scores here they on the command tank roll appearances. Got one in position, bringing the other one there. Really good handling again of the two 17 pounder guns for Zulu. And there you go, Stukasafus, tearing apart the very heavens themselves, or what's beneath the heavens with a barrage, but the 17 pounder gun group survives and the ambulance connector is supported. In the center, Rangers desperately counterattack here, forcing the Germans off the center victory point for now. Sturm Panzer Panther being brought up further south. Pioneers going is a busy here. Tiger repositioning. Trying to stay a few steps ahead of the 17 Panda Guns. Thumbs up there to Ruby. Back to Ruby. Going for another Panda 3 and back to Zulu. He's got two 17 Panda Guns and three Grants and two Sappers plus an ambulance. I don't think we've seen a match like with two 17 Panda Guns like this, that's for sure. Panda 4 in the center here. The only way this could be is like the Germans had flak 36s as well, but that's a bit much, I think, to ask for. More Lloyders here. Allies continue not to. Oh, wow, that was a massive sprint out of Havoc. Using it to contest, we've got 78 percent and 13. Lloyders raining down death. The Grants narrowly survived the 17 pounding guns, though. Unleashing a torrent of death. And we could see the Pantothea go down. No smokes popped in there narrowly. Potentially saving it. Grants are escaping. Stugas vs. Barrage raining down death. Bazooka team explodes before the anti crews very eyes traumatizing them for the remainder of their lives. However long they may be. Thomas, did, did those Americans just explode? Yes. Yes, they did. Arts is firing, Nibleth is firing, foot guards only the Bazulu. Pani has been caught there by the American Nibleth. Again, threatening the northern flank here. Zulu covering the center with his end of tank guns as intently as possible. Fudge Makers forced back by the East Rangers here under Havoc's command. 78 versus 70 here. Stokers have first entered again. Hammering here, Zulu's positions. Ambulance narrowly gets out of that one alive. And we got the Panda Free here being slammed by the 17 Panda Gun. Also narrowly escaping. So many narrow escapes. Got 78 versus 64 here. Up north here, Ruby again attacking Solus Flanks, getting one of his Grant tanks here. Command tank is going to get fucked up here by the 17 pounder gun, and Ruby loses the command tank here to 17 pounder armor pissing shell here. Oh, Grant Chaffee's out for having now. Interesting choice here. Does kind of make sense here. Definitely catching a Ruby off guard. Almost got the Chaffee though. More rocket badge out there. Struck as a first seat. Has he gone for a second one? Yes, he obviously has. Salt gun is in heavy fighting across the center here. Axis forces looks like they're gonna push for the center victory point here. Another lot of call in this time by Ruby. And we got more needle of fire, I think, trying to silence that 17 panda gun. There you go, direct hit on the crew. More foot guards for Zulu. And there, oh, it's so close. Almost got the crew. Down they go. Meanwhile, up north, Ruby's attacking. Got the other. Both 17 pounder guns have all been almost been wiped out. Have been wiped out. Just need to flop and finish it off. This could be huge then. The Zuga teams are rushing straight for the Tiger Tank. Center falling in. Panther forming up here. 52 to 64 here. This match is absolutely spectacular. Possibly one of the finest Co 3 2v2 matches I've ever had the honor of casting. Panda fall down to the Bazookas and the Rangers. More light is going in there. Pack from corner, bad spot. Chaffee's in a bit of a tough spot as well. There's still no attack of guns out of the Allies. Panda refusing to believe that the US Air Force can't deal with that. Further south here. Fudge make a special point. There you go. Triple cap almost there. Just need the center. We've got 52 to 57. Rangers moving forward with the Bazookas. Tigers. Covering the withdrawal of the Strickers Fuse, even as others are firing. Panda 4 for Ruby, assault gets rushed in the center. Enemy forces have fallen to 
Rangers Road at 47 points left here. In the south, Fashimigas putting up a desperate defense against the Sappers here. As the ground is being pushed forwards. Like a self propelled craft up filled with guns and a panther fire today. Damage the engine. Rangers swing in. More foot guards for Zulu. And we got the Stuggers versus moving up here. Gonna fire at near point blank range, it seems, with them. Trying to catch him with the Stuggers first, but catching the Entertainment and actually following up here, it seems. Brought down, more loiters, more death from above. 52 versus 4. 2, and there we go, GG. Game over. What an absolutely bonkers fight there. Like, how many did they lose in total here? Like, that's a bit of 300, and that's about 200. So, possibly close to about 600 casualties total across, like, you know, all four players. Some really like crazy fighting there. But the Rangers, obviously, by far being the most efficient unit, though the Bazooka squads also did rate of over those Bazooka upgrades. They did like insane amount of anti-tank damage, in fact. They easily did the most. Vehicle wise, there's obviously not so much that of him. The German side, well, Stu was obviously the most but efficient, but there's not really that many armored units out there. Fajimigas did fairly well there. Yeah, crazy fight there. So I hope you enjoyed this match. You'll learn something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment. This is Imperial Team. Cheers, and see you all tomorrow for our next episode. Bye, everyone.